to our next lesson of uh, you know creating the shopping cart e-commerce app in the flutter so in the last lesson we went through different things we set our getters we imported our items we set our items so what we need to do now is we need to set our product in a screen to display different products so what we are going to do here is what i've already done is i'll create a variable of shop and this is from the provider which is taking inventory and passing in a context so what i'm going to do in the body is in the body i'll have a list view builder so this list view builder will take an item count so this item count will be from shop items dot length and then this is going to take in an item builder and this item builder will take in a context and an index value which i will say as i and this is going to return i'm going to return a card from this so inside the card i'll have some list styles so the list style will have a leading and leading is going to be our image from the network as i have you know taken files through file the storage so this source is going to come from that shop again so this will be shop dot items which will take in the index value and then pass the picture so now if i save this i go back here you can see that the pictures are loading up so the next thing that we are going to do is we'll use a title and the title will be of type text and this text is again going to come from the shop which will say shop dot items this will take in the index value and give us a name and other than that we'll have a trailing which will display the price so that will also be a text so what this is going to do is this is going to tell us the price and the price is going to come from shop dot items from the index value which takes in the price and passes it as a string so now if i save this and you have a look here you can see the you can see that we have the images we have the item name and we have the price so the next thing that we need to do is whenever we click on any of these cards here it should take us to the product details page and that particular page you know we shouldn't have to pass the values from the material page or anything we should again be able to use this thing here and pass it to here so what we are going to do is inside of our inventory we are going to create a function which will set an active item so the active item will be the one which we are currently selecting so this is going to take items which is the type and i'm going to call it item and what this will do is it will say that the active item is equal to item so we'll finish this function right over here we'll go back here and what i'm going to do is the card i'm going to wrap it with the widget i'm going to use gesture detector here for now so inside the register detector we have the on tap property so inside the on tap we'll call that function using shop shop dot set active items and the item here is shop dot item which takes in the index value so i'll just finish this function right over here and the next thing that this is going to do is this is going to navigate us to the next page so we say navigator dot push which has a context and the route will be a material page route so the builder is going to be a context and this is going to pass our product details screen so i'll just close this and click right here so now if you look at this once i click on this i'm going to the next page nothing is coming up because we haven't added any functionality here yet but in the next page also we would be needing this so i'll just copy and paste this from here and i'll add it here so uh, let me just import the files here as well
Okay, so we have the files imported now. I have a body here as a column. So in this column, what we are going to do is I'm going to have children. So our first children will be an image from network. Now what this sets us is we'll use shop.active items. We don't need to use everything here. We only need the active items and from the active items we can take in the picture. So once I save this, you will see that the image come up. Let me just show it to you. Give me a minute. Okay. You can see that the image has come up. Okay. The image is a bit large in size. Let me just set it uh, a height and width to it. Okay. So for height, I'll use 300 and for width, I'll use 300. Okay. So I've reduced the size of the image now. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to take in a text and this text again is going to come from shop.activitems.name and other than that we'll have the price so the price again is going to come from shop.activitems.price.toString okay so now if we have a look here you can see that we have the image we have the text name the title of the product and we have the price so if you just want to add a few things here let me just add some text style so I'm going to use the font size font size I'll set it 25 and I will use the font weight I'll set it to W600 so if I click here okay it's quite big in size now so and for this as well I'll add some size so style text style and the size I'm going to give this would be 20 and I guess that would be fine yeah that looks okay so I'll do one thing I'll just wrap this inside the center okay so that's inside the center now and if you want to give some spaces I'll use the side size box I'll set the height to 50 I guess that will be a lot though I mean, that actually looks fine okay so the next thing that we need here is we also need a container here that will help us set the uh, the quantity so what we are going to do here is we are going to pass in a row and inside the row will have children's so the first children will be an icon button and icon here would be icons dot add okay so I'll also add a color to this icon so the color will be colors dot green on pressed I'll keep null for now so I'll just copy and paste this icon button again and I'll make it to icons dot remove and this color would be colors dot red okay you can see we have this here now but you know if we click anything nothing would happen obviously but we also need to have a container here which will show us the quantity which is increasing or decreasing other than that let me also set the main axis alignment to center Okay, so I've set the main axis alignment to center and this is now in center. I'll also use the size box here. So I'll set the height to 50 again. Okay, so this is fine. So now here we need to add a container. So the container will take in a child. And the child here will be a text widget. And what this widget is going to take, it's going to take in the quantity of the product. And that we can get from the shop from the active item. So we will do one thing. We'll set this as shop.activitems.quantity. And the quantity will be in string. Okay. So we have this done here. You can see that the quantity is here. The images are here. Now if I go back, I select some other item you can see that everything is working absolutely fine here so 
for the next lesson we would be creating the basket and we will be uploading or updating the items into the basket and also we'll be creating the cart page to make the order successful uh, thank you all for watching this video please make sure you subscribe and keep tuned in for the next lesson thank you have a great day